Hey y'all, hey y'all, it's your girl, the Power Washing Chick. To all of my power washing guys and girls out there, I want to help you to be able to run that job smoothly. So y'all, I got like a tip for y'all. I like to keep like a power washing little kit with me. So I want to, I got it, I actually got it right here. So... <laughs> This is my power washing kit. These are things that I keep with me at all times when I am going to a job. And these are things that I think that you should keep with you as well because they are going to help your job to run smoothly and for you to do that thing right. All right, so first things first you need, you got to have a power charging cord, a USB cord. Make sure you keep one of these with you at all times because you never know how long you're going to be on the job. Second, I like to keep a charger. I don't even know what this thing is called. This is like a charger. Um... I don't know if y'all, what is this? Oh my goodness. All right, so I literally plug up my charger to this and I connect my phone to it because in order to charge my phone in my vehicle, my truck has to be running and I don't want my truck running to charge my phone. So I got like this little power charging um, box here. I so don't know what it's called, but if I Google it, I'm going to list it in the video. Y'all get you one of these. This is a life saver, okay? Next thing pliers y'all you got to keep some pliers in your power washing kit because you never know if you have to remove a hose and um in order to hook up your hose literally yesterday i was doing a power washing job at school and i had the janitor um i had the service guy he was opening up the janitor's closet for me and there was a hose hooked to the little water source and he was like he was trying to squeeze he was trying to twist it off and he couldn't i was like that's okay i got my own pliers and he looked kind of shocked i guess because i was a woman i was like i got my own pliers don't even worry about that you can just go on and, and do what you got to do i know you busy busy i got this he was like are you sure he's i was like yeah he said you got your own pliers he actually repeated it back i was like yes <laughs> so i think he was kind of impressed and baby i had to use these pliers because that thing was tough keep you some pliers in your kit next lotion because, baby, after you do a job and rinse your hands off, you may have to go to the Home Depot. You may need to pause for lunch and go to your local Longhorns or your Applebee's or wherever. You want to sit down and eat you some lunch. And you don't want to go up in there with your dry and ashy hands. Now, to all my working dudes out there, whatever you like to do, whatever floats your boat. But listen, I like this, y'all. This is the Dove Nourishing Body Care Lotion, y'all. $1.25 at the Dollar Tree, and this stuff is amazing. So we got to keep some lotion. Next, got to keep a bottle of water because when you get busy, you may forget to pack your cooler. You may forget to bring a bottle of water. Having one of these in your kit will save your life. Next, I like to keep antibacterial wipes because I can wipe my hands. I can wipe my face with these if I need to. And I like to keep one that's kind of all natural because I like to wipe my face. That way, you know, you ain't do, got no, no harmful chemicals in it. Um, this one is actually okay. I actually have two of them. One I use for my face. Next, safety glasses. How many jobs have I been on and I left my freaking safety glasses? I'm talking about water, mud, rocks. You never know what will fly up in your face, baby. Make sure you got your safety glasses in your kit. I like to keep two of them because my husband or my daughter, they will end up being on jobs with me. Like yesterday, my daughter was power washing and we forgot our safety glasses and we both had like mud going in our eyes. Next, I like to keep um just some small little um just some small little uh bags. You can use Kroger bags. I got these small little garbage bags in case I need to take off my wet muddy socks or um uh, my wet muddy pants. I can throw them in this bag until I get home. Next, socks. <laughs> you got to have some socks, baby, because you you never know where you may end up going to. You may have to leave and go get give, give another quote after doing a dirty job and you don't want to show up muddy and dirty. So I keep me an extra pair of socks. I actually got 3 pair here. I actually got 4 pair. Next, y'all, some type of snack you're gonna have to have a snack because there are gonna be days when you gotta fast, baby. Yeah, baby, you gotta skip a meal like you fasting for the Lord, and you gonna be because because you're like, you know what? I'm skipping lunch. I'm gonna get this job done. I wanna get out of here. I like to keep some type of healthy snack or a protein snack bar. I ate all the protein bars, but we got these little healthy uh, breakfast bars here. Got little carbs in it. They'll hold me over. I got my water. I'm straight. Um. 
Me, I gotta keep some red lipstick. <laughs> this for my, this for the this for the ladies. Okay, it's a long day out the out there, baby. After all that mud and stuff gets to slashing in your face, and you be looking all ashy and dry, I need some red lipstick to reapply. I keep me some lipstick in my kit because you never know where you gotta go, and you wanna still look professional and cute. Kleenex. I keep Kleenex because it's going to be some of them days, baby. You're going to be out there. It could be in the middle of the summertime, baby. You just get to run a nose. You got to keep some Kleenex. These come in handy. All right. An extra outfit. <laughs> Y'all, keep you an extra outfit on hand. The socks, the pants, and the shirt because you never know where you got to go. And you can change in your truck or you can change at the location. If there's a bathroom, you can change your clothes. Baby, I like to do everything in this truck. I do a full. Well, I do. I put my pressure washer on a low pressure and I rinse down all of the mud off of my pants and off of my shoes. Right now, I don't have rain boots. Rain boots keep them in your kit well they'll be in your truck anyway get you some rain boots and they'll save you but your wet pants and sometimes wet water and mud splashes down in your rain boots and they get in your socks i've seen people talk about it so you need to keep you an extra outfit i keep me an extra pair of leggings i work in leggings most of the time because i can move around and bend in these i'm thinking about getting like some waterproof um a pants i want to get some waterproof overalls or some waterproof pants i think my husband found me some waterproof pants and shout out to my husband for recommending those pliers for me they have came in handy on every job so y'all keep you a second outfit to change in case you need and last but not least i like to keep this oh no 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 we got a couple things all right i like to keep a rag i like to keep a rag for um wiping down hoses when they get dirty and muddy or a rag to twist my hose on to my pressure washer because sometimes that thing gets i have to twist it or to untwist it i have to use a rag or this rag comes in handy um when you're untwisting a uh, hose from another a water source you can use the rag it helps sometimes you don't need your pliers i like to keep a uh washcloth for my face and for my hands or my body, if I need to do a quick wipe down in the truck before I change clothes, I always keep a fresh washcloth. I keep it in a little sandwich bag. That way I don't get it mixed up with this because I'll grab this and I'll throw it back into my kit. It may have a little dirt, a little mud on it. Your uh, antibacterial wipes, y'all, these help when you get oil or you get gas on your hands and you about to go to lunch. You can kind of wipe this, wipe some of that gas down with this. Um, I also like to keep in my kit um but it's in the back right now um because i use that i use the palmala free and clear dish soap i like to keep a soap with me on my hands because it's free and clear i can wipe down my body or i can even wipe my face with that dish soap it's pure and clear so it's light and it's great and last but not least y'all y'all know what this is baby this is a back brace listen sometimes you gotta pull some stuff sometimes you gotta move some stuff baby at this school i gotta move six benches and they are heavy and you know what i'm not breaking my back from no, for nobody i'm a tough girl i can get down and dirty but baby you gotta protect your back and this is for my men and my women get you a back brace because you never know what you're gonna have to move and let me tell y'all something because you're moving and bending i like the back brace because it's good support and it gives you good posture throughout the day so y'all get you a back brace to have in your truck because you never know what you may have to move or just get you a back brace it keeps you it keeps your posture straight and it just helps you to stand up and it makes you feel good and to all of my ladies this actually will help you to sweat off that midsection and lose a little weight and keep you slim and trim in the summertime so y'all i must have my back brace so y'all these are a few things that i would recommend that you keep in your power washing kit a kit you keep in your truck you can get you um i just got this little tote from the dollar tree you can get something that's closed you can get whatever you want to get just get you a kit and have it made up and then if you um if you got kids or your sons or your daughters are going to be working with you just put um extra things in your truck in the kit or in your car for them because you know they're going to be on jobs with you like some gummies or some snacks or some bars or some juices or things like that because sometimes kids get kids get agitated my daughter was out there yesterday and she forgot to bring her little snack and her little lunch i was like okay now look at you <laughs> you're getting a little agitated but mama gonna be out here six hours so you got to wait we're gonna be fasting for the lord today 
So y'all, these are just a few things that I like to keep in my power washing kit and I keep it right behind my seat. It stays in here at all times because you never know when your girl gonna have a job to do. All right, it is your girl, the power washing chick. Hit that like button for your girl if you found this video value to you. And share this video with a fellow power washer out there that's looking for some great tips to improve their business. I'll talk to y'all later.